All right, welcome to section 5.3 titled Finding Z-Scores. Uh, so there's a couple things we're going to be doing in this section. The first is we're going to find a Z-score given the area or the probability um, from the normal curve. Then we're going to transfer, transform that Z-score back into an X value. Uh, we're going to be doing that when we have word problems. And then again, to summarize, it's going to be about finding data values given the probability. So let's go ahead and start with example one. Uh, find the z-score that corresponds to cumulative area of 0 0.3632. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw the normal curve. And then in the center, we're going to put the z-value of 0. And we know that a z value of 0 gives us 50%. So the area that we're looking at, the 0.3632, uh, that's going to put us somewhere over here. So we'll shade that. And again, this is 0.3632. Now, since it's a cumulative area, that's exactly what the normal table will tell us. So here's what the normal ta our, um, our normal table looks like. And I've already circled it here. We just need to figure out what z-value gives us 0.3632. So we have negative 0.3 and then the 0.05 up here. So that gives us a z-value of negative 0.35. Now luckily there's a function on the graphing calculator that will also tell us this value. So I'm going to put the picture up on the screen now. Uh, so you'll go ahead and try to find where the inverse norm button is. And what you're going to do is type in the area, the cumulative area or probability, and then 0 and 1. Uh, it doesn't have to be 0 and 1. You could have, it's, the, it's just the mean and the standard deviation. So if you were given a different mean and standard deviation, you would put those there. And you can see that we would get a value of negative 0.3499 which when we round would give us negative 0.35. Now the second example is find the z-score that has 10.75 of the distribution to its right. So as always, we'll sketch the normal curve. And we're looking for the area where we have 10.75 to the right. So right there. 0 0.1075, and we'll go ahead and shade that. Now, because the normal table gives us cumulative area up to a certain point, so up to that z value, we actually have to figure out what does this area equal, because that's the area that's going to be in the normal table. So all we have to do is do 1 minus 0 0.1075, and that's going to give us 0.8. So that is the area that we look up in the table. So you can see down here, we set up 0.8925. Uh, that's going to go with a z value of 1.2, and then the second decimal place would be 0 0.04. That gives us a z value of 1.24. I'm going to put the graphing calculator up on the screen now. We do inverse norm. Again, you the first number is going to be the cumulative area up to your z value. So we have to use the 0.8925. And then the z value of 0 and 1 for the mean and standard deviation. That gives us 1.2399. And when rounded is 1.24.